I'm Rick Romano. I'm head of the Global Real Estate Securities Group at PGM Real Estate. I've been in real estate for over 30 years, and today is one of the most dynamic real estate markets that I've ever seen. There are opportunities that are being generated by reflation, reopening, and a recalibration of technology in the real estate space that we haven't seen before. In terms of overweights and underweights in the, in the PGM Real Estate uh, Global Select Fund, there are many themes that we're benefiting from that were overweight in the portfolio. And if you look at the reflation theme, we are overweight uh, as a result of uh, increasing inflation. We're overweight the apartment and self-storage sector globally. Number one, on the apartment and housing side, there is a severe shortage of housing across the world, particularly mid-level priced housing. So that's benefiting owners of apartments as they're able to increase their rents quickly. Self-storage, short-term leases, benefiting from the dislocation in COVID, um, and a very low labor cost associated with it. So not impacted by inflation on the cost side. And then the reopening theme that we've seen, um, we're overweight reopening names like uh, healthcare, assisted living facilities, where we've seen pent up demand for people to move in. A lot of that is needs based to go into one of those facilities and hotels where we've seen uh, leisure travel uh, was very robust in the summer and continues to do a little bit better than expected even in the fall. But now the next wave or leg that we're going to see on the reopening is corporate travel and there's pent up demand for that. So we think that will pick up going forward. And then we, we like global logistics and industrial. We continue to see um, great earnings growth, uh, earnings beats, you know, high single digit type earnings growth uh, and valuations continue to go up as a result of that. We continue to revise our, our estimates up on the industrial and warehouse industry. So the top picks in the fund can fit into many of the themes that, that we have and are um, you know, very optimistic about right now, uh, whether it's reflation, reopening, or, or recalibrate, recalibration. And the top names really can, you can fit in each of those categories. They, they hit check boxes in each of those three categories. So a company like Welltower, which is an assisted living company, um, those leases are generally short term. They're usually about a year. So that benefits the, the reflationary component. Um, the reopening component, uh, well tower, uh, the occupancies were hit very hard in COVID-19 during COVID in 2020. Um, but we're starting to see that come back. Those move-ins have picked up significantly and people typically have to sell their houses to finance a stay in an assisted living facility. The housing market is as strong as it's ever been. So demand has spiked for that uh, as we get into the recovery, has uh, spiked for assisted living. And then the recalibration, Wall Tower is a great example of a company that is using big data and artificial intelligence to make better, not only better revenue management decisions, but better decisions on acquisitions and development, really looking at sub-markets and micro-markets and using big data to identify you know, the best opportunities for themselves. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.